My name is Nelly Aviva Binti Supardi. Hello and Assalamualaikum everyone. My name is Nur Aina Binti Zulkifli. Hi, my name is Nur Shazoni Binti Amran. Hi everyone, my name is Nur Liza Binti Aris. Assalamualaikum and greetings to all judges. My name is Naidi Afifa and today me and my group members will present to you our innovation which is a recycled inner hijab called Sisu Shawl. Here is a list of items to be discussed in this presentation. This includes the purpose of our innovation, a brief introduction about our product, the process and material used to make our product, as well as the benefits of this innovation and our product. To start off, I would like to talk about the purpose of our innovation. Polyester is manufactured from petroleum, a non-renewable resource whose production has a negative impact on the environment. However, polyester is not as harmful as we previously thought if we decide to recycle this type of polymer. The first purpose is to protect the environment from any pollutions. When we recycle, we cut down the amount of trash and waste on the oceans and landfills. This will then reduce soil and water contaminations. The second purpose is to reduce extraction of natural resources. When we recycle, we cut down the amount of natural resources to be extracted from the earth. With that in mind, Using more recycled polyester reduces our dependence on petroleum as the raw materials for our fabric needs. The last purpose is to create a more sustainable and eco-friendly fashion. Recycled fabric has been a huge demand on the market due to its sustainable and eco-friendly properties. This is because a recycled polyester will produce a lightweight, breathable and non-toxic fabric. And this type of fabric is very suitable to make an inner hijab as it will feel good on the skin. Now, I would like to introduce Sisu Shawl, a recycled inner hijab which is made 100% from recycled PET plastic bottles. Sisu means plastics in Yoruba, while Shawl means scarf in German. Sisu Shawl is created for every Muslim woman to feel comfortable while wearing their hijabs. Now, I'm going to talk about the material use and its reason. There are a few reasons why we choose PET as our main ingredient in making our inner hijab. Firstly, because it is eco-friendly and recyclable. By recycling the PET, it can lessen the manufacturing of virgin raw material as power required to recycling it is also less. Moreover, we can produce our products without depleting the natural sources. Apart from that, recycled PET also is adequate and cozy on skin due to its smoothness. Secondly, it is convenient. Fabrics that made from PET is strong and also convenient. It is convenient due to its cost effective in producing it and requires less energy to transport it. Besides, they are also convenient for on-the-go consumption. Lastly, it is breathable and lightweight. PET used to make fabrics known as polyester because it is used as a fiber. Polyester has the features of breathable and lightweight structures which makes it suitable material in making our inner hijab. The breathability aspect can boost up the sweat to evaporate, hence it develops the sensation of relaxation even so the wearers are sweating. Other than that, the breathability aspect makes it to be a water repellent material which makes skin's moisture to quickly evaporate. Next, I will explain about the process the making of hijab inner. First, the clear PET bottles are separated from the colour plastic during sorting and the bottles are clean and sterilised. Why we need to sterilise? This is because we need to remove all the microorganisms at the PET bottle. The second step is shredding. The clean PET bottles are shred into small shapes. Shredding all the bottles is to release the unwanted liquid so it doesn't affect the quality of plastic. The next step is mixing. The plastic shreds are mixed with some light colored plastic to produce white cloth. The fourth step is drying. 
the plastic mixture are dried about 10 hours. After that, the plastic mixture is heated and melted in the oven at 270 degrees Celsius by passing it through a spinneret to form strings of yarn. The next step is blending. The yarn are heated again to be blended and stretched several times to make it stronger. The next method is scrapping. The bonded yarn are scrapped into a rough clothes and ready to be cut. After that, carding. Carding is the process of brushing bonded fiber together so that they lie in the same direction, strengthening the material. At this step, the rough cloth is carded to ease the making process of polyester thread. Last but not least, threading. The polyester sheet is teared by using a machine and the thread are wounded in the spools. Lastly, the fabric will be sent to the manufacturer to produce the end product which is the inner. As one of the purpose of making sisu shawl is to protect the environmental pollution, therefore the benefits of this sisu shawl is lightweight and breathable. Our headscarf can resist a shrinking and stretching barrier, hence it is long lasting for our consumer to use. On top of that, our headscarf is also wrinkle resistant which means it's ironless. Sisu shawl also stain resistant that make them ideal for cleaning. The material used for sisu shawl can withstand with a variety of chemicals and easily customized. Not to forget that it is a hold their shape well. Now that we have come to the end of our presentation, I would like to conclude that recycled polyester is a very suitable material to fulfill our fabric needs due to its eco-friendly and sustainable properties. Next. The process of making this recycled inner hijab is much longer and complicated but requires much less energy and safer than producing the conventional polyester. Last but not least, this recycled inner hijab has made the daily routine of every Muslim woman much easier as it is ironless and easy to clean. Thank you for listening to our presentation. We hope this can encourage you to save the environment too.